where are your AAX 64-bit plugins stored for Pro Tools, Media Composer, Pro Tools First, and Media Composer First. All of these applications use the same exact location for all of your AAX plugins. I'm on Windows, so first we need to open up this PC, or we could come to File Explorer here, or we could, of course, open this PC from our Start menu. So we'll go to this PC, then we'll go to our C drive. Then we'll go to program files, not x86. I'm assuming you're on a 64-bit operating system here. So program files. And then we'll come down here to common files. Double click that. Into the Avid folder. And from there we go to audio. And right here is your plugin folder for all of your AAX 64-bit plugins. We can pop into it if we want and see all of our AAX plugins there. And again, Media Composer will use this folder. Pro Tools will use this folder, Pro Tools First uses this folder, and Media Composer First uses this folder. They all pull from the same exact location. Now on Mac, that's your Mac hard drive, library, application support, Avid, audio, and plugins. And it's good to know this information because sometimes Pro Tools may have an issue, sometimes Media Composer may have an issue, and you need to pull your plugins out of this plugin folder to do some troubleshooting, or you may just pull one or two out and then relaunch your application and try whatever troubleshooting steps you need to. So to do that, we need to head to the same location. Real easy to do here in Windows. I'll just select that location, Control-C to copy. Come up here, Control-V to paste in that location. Press Enter, and we'll step back one step there. Now we're in the Plugins folder. If you don't have a Plugins unused folder, you can go ahead and create it. I'll just go ahead and create it here because we don't have it uh, by default because we've never moved any to that folder from Pro Tools, plugins, and then do parentheses and call it unused. There we go. Now, if I want to move my plugins out of this location, one or two or all of them, I can go say Control A, for example, move everything over into the plugins unused folder that will move everything out of that location into the unused location. And then, for example, I could open Pro Tools and that would launch without any plugins and I could try whatever troubleshooting steps I need to. Of course, you could move one or two plugins into that unused folder if they are causing problems with Pro Tools or Media Composer or what have you. And here we are in Pro Tools, just for example. And if I go to load up a plugin, you'll notice I don't have any plugins at all, except for some of these system plugins. The reason you see these is because these are available via Rewire, which is a system plugin. And you may or may not see these options depending on if you have them installed. But none of our other plugins are showing up here, are hundreds and hundreds of different plugins. Okay, and our system plugins, just in case you want to know, are installed here on C, Program Files, go into Avid, and then go into Pro Tools, and then we have our system plugins right here. And you can see that Digi Rewire right there, which is why we're seeing things like FL Studio or Reason or Melodyne, because those are not standard AAX plugins. They are actually applications that we can rewire into, into Pro Tools. And you'll also have things like your time compression expansion and heat and whatnot. Again, this is essential information to know because for example, I might run Media Composer first on a different system without an iLock plugged in. And I may not wanna go through all of those dialog boxes asking for authorizations for plugins where I don't have my iLock plugged in or I don't have that system authorized. So I can just move all of those audio plugins over into my unused folder. And that way Media Composer first in this example will launch without all of those dialog boxes popping up and having to click cancel or quit on each of those dialogs. And whenever you're ready to move your plugins back, Pop into your unused folder. I'll just do Control A and we'll move them all back into our plugins folder because, again, this location is hard coded into Pro Tools and the Media Composer and it will only use plugins that are in this exact location. There is no way to add a path in Pro Tools or Media Composer for your audio plugins. This is not like VSTs, for example. I could come here to my C drive, program files, come down here, and you'll notice a VST folder right here, VST plugins, bunch of VST plugins in this location, step back, come up here to Steinberg, more VST plugins in this location, step back. We could go up here to Native Instruments, for example, and their default location for their VST plugins is in their own folder, so bunch of VST plugins in here as well. Not to mention we could step back to C, come into Program Files, x86 in this case, and we have more VST plugins in this location as well. And of course, with DAWs or NLEs that let you add whatever path you want for your VSTs, you would just add these paths into those programs, whether it be FL Studio, Cubase, or what have you. Okay, 
And for example, program files x86, this is where your RTAS plugins or AAX 32-bit plugins would be stored. So just as an aside here, we could pop in to common files here in the x86, common files, Avid, and audio, and then plugins. So this is our 32-bit AAX plugins. Step back and come down here to Digi Design, and here are our RTAS plugins. So this is where your AAX 64-bit plugins are located. Again, much different than VST plugins. That's why you may notice whenever you install a plugin, it may ask you, where do you want your VSTs installed? And that's because you can install the VST versions wherever you want, and you're usually never asked where you want your AAX plugins installed. And that's because this path is hard-coded by Pro Tools, and therefore, there's no reason to offer a choice of where you want to install your AAX plugins. So once again, on Windows, that path is C, Program Files, Common Files, Avid, Audio, Plugins. And on Mac, that's Macintosh HD, Library, Application Support, Avid, Audio, Plugins. That is the location where all of your AAX 64-bit plugins will be stored for Pro Tools, Media Composer, Media Composer First, and Pro Tools First. And lastly, don't forget, you can always move plugins that are causing a problem into your unused folder and then quickly move them back whenever you want to use them again.